Watch them out. What's in the wards? Have you got a question for me? With our ouch bleepers, ready to answer your medical queries. That is a lovely question. <laughs> Just practising our crossing. Nailed it, on. Thanks, Chris. Keep up, Rolls. Oh, saved by the blooper. The first question is from Rahima, who fell off a climbing frame and punctured her liver. Hi, Rahima. Apparently you have a question for me. Yeah. I fell over and I've got a hole in my liver. The doctor said I don't need an operation, why not? What's the diagnosis, Doc? Sounds to me like you've got a case of... I fell over and I injured my liver, but the doctors say I don't need an operation and I want to know why not itis. Well, that's a mouthful. The amazing thing about the liver is it can heal itself really well. So if one bit of it gets damaged, the rest of it is able to produce more liver, and that's what we call regeneration. And not all the organs in your body can regenerate, so the liver's quite special. And what's going to happen is, if Rahima sits still for a few days, that will just heal up and get better. Now listen, you've injured your liver, and the important thing is that you never, ever go outside and play ever again. I think that's a bit silly, Dr Chris. I think I should just be a bit more careful next time. All right, that does sound a bit more sensible. Rahima, you have earned an ouch sticker for you to place over your liver, OK? Bye! Bye! Good work, Chris. Rox has a question from Cody Ann, who's in hospital because she has a problem with her digestive system. You've got a question for me. What's the central line? Why is it important to keep it clean? What's the diagnosis, Doc? That sounds like a case of, what is the central line? Why does it need to be kept clean at us? <laughs> That's two questions, Cheeky. Do you have a central line, Cody Ann? Yes. OK. Well, a central line is a piece of plastic tubing that goes straight into your chest because sometimes people need special medicines for a really long time. So they need plastic tubing, which is put in their neck or by the front of their chest, and that can deliver medicine straight into the bloodstream. And now for the second question, Ronks. Why is it important to keep it clean? Now, as you know, the world is full of bugs, and that's why we wash our hands. If you don't keep your central line clean, those bugs can get into your system, cause infection, and make you pretty unwell. Thank you so much for showing us your central line. There you go. Thank you. See you later. Bye. The last question is from Callum, who's had an operation on his ear. Have you got a question for me? Why do you get goosebumps when you're cold? What's the diagnosis, Doc? Sounds to me like a case of, I want to know why you get goosebumps when you're cold itis. This might have a hair-raising answer. You get goosebumps when you're cold because at the bottom of every hair on your body is a tiny muscle called the erector pili muscle. And when it's cold, that contracts and it lifts your hair up so it's standing up straight. And the idea is that if you're a furry animal, that will lift your hair up and trap warm air near your skin and keep you warm on a cold day. But in humans, we don't have enough fur or hair for that to work. So it's just a leftover natural reflex because we evolved from furry animals. <laughs> well, what? You evolved from a furry animal too. Callum, I'm loving the way your mind works. That was a great question. Would you say that I've answered it? Well, in that case, I can give you a sticker. Question answered. That's it for today. Clinic closed.